Friday! <laughs> um, it's Friday. Day two of the elites and teams. Lucy's finished. So that lessens the workload a little bit. Um, so there's cuts today. Hopefully the workload isn't less and more tomorrow. I'm going to toll space or tailgate somewhere to interview Sarah while watching and recapping the Team 5K at the same time. So that'll be... I can't see any issues arising with that. Yeah. I'm a different athlete than, than other athletes. Like some athletes just function very well in the routine and everything, but I'm not one of them. I have to have a little bit of like a butterfly in me of excitement and going somewhere and that's where I function best. If I'm enjoying the journey, if I have people around me that just like believe in me and I think Justin is definitely one of them that he really believes in me especially after my ACL tear it's the first thing that he said to me was like you know that you will come back mm. like I have no doubt so just having that one person that really believes in you and is putting everything they can to help you get where you are and Justin just stopped working with yes. Daniel Brandon there and there was just an opportunity mm. to start working with him because yeah, he <laughs> he probably is fully booked an athlete, so so yeah, I, it was just the right feeling of working with him. Yeah, what's your role of response? What is that? That's what I said. It's coffee and milk. That's not coffee. It is. Not anymore. Half, it's not half milk. Half coffee, half milk. Do you take milk with your coffee or coffee with your milk? Half and half. Like I said three times. Is that a thing? For me, four to seven and eight. That's how I like it. I like milk with some coffee. <laughs> and I'm clean and jerk. I like the guys from Invictus. I think for snatch, I'll take Tola. I think everyone would take Tola. <laughs> I mean, right, but, all right. Tola will beat most pairs <laughs> solo. Oh, this milk is good. I thought about doing a weightlifting seminar while competing. While competing? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's my way of complimenting you. <laughs> Thank you. Are you happy how that went? Uh, yeah, it was fine. Yeah. Um, I think it would have been more fun to have a few more lifts. Yeah, you're not the first person to say that. Yeah. yeah. But uh, other than that, we executed really well. Okay. Yeah. Good. Nobody missed a lift. Taylor missed her first one, but she had told Andrew beforehand, she's like, hey, I'm going to miss my first snatch in the second attempt, and don't stress about it. I'll hit the second one. And she did. Okay. Yeah. So we were like, all right, cool. Yeah. Once uh, you know what's happening, it's okay. I guess. Exactly. <laughs> I told um, everyone in the world very too. I was like, I might miss my first snatch. Don't panic. <laughs> Total, one of the things I'm looking forward to most in this. Um, team competition is you running 5k. Really? Yeah. Well, I've been incredibly I'm, impressed with your transformation. Thank you. I'm doing it with the team. To We're doing it with the team. Yeah. So it's not going to be a PR. No. <laughs> but I'm excited that it's not going to put me in the grave. <laughs> and historically, it would have been the it team been dragging a, you along. And yes, that's correct. You're up front. It's cool. Yeah. Thank I'm you. Excited. Look at that glistening German steel. Hey, Peter. I can't believe I didn't realize that you had a leg tattoo until I saw you get an extra bit on your leg tattoo. A Nike tattoo? Lead. Leg. Ah, I understood a Nike tattoo. No. And did I not get sponsored by Nike, I would not get a tattoo from Nike. Oh. <laughs> How are you oh, feeling? You first. I'm good. Yeah? I'm okay, yeah. Do you I, did some, I did some thrusters on Monday, my eyes are a bit stiff. How are you? Ah, really? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> How are you Have feeling? You, did you took sunscreen? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? That's good. Yeah. Perfect. I'm doing good. You could have asked me yesterday. Yesterday I would have replied, really, really good, Peter. Yeah. Today I reply, okay. Yeah, but it's early doors. Yeah. How are you feeling about the um, rest of the day's events? Good, like in, I love power events, as you know, so yeah. I'm looking forward to do some squats. Nice. And I love running, so I'm looking forward to do Helena. <laughs> and if you really like running, you're in for a treat tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> I love 5K. I mean, look at this physique. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to shave your body for aerodynamics? Yeah, I will. Okay. I look That's the reason why that. I have bold hair. On. I'll do some close-ups on that one. <laughs> Looking forward. Yeah. See you. So you're at 20th-ish mm -hmm. after that? Yeah, 20th heading in. I'm not sure where I'll be now. I think I took 11th on that one. Okay. So I hope we move up a bit. And how do you feel about the rest of the day? Um, I like all the events today. Um, that one, I thought it could be good for me, but I wasn't sure just how it would go. I know I improved, improved a lot on my Lagos rope climbs. Um, just didn't know how much, but yeah, those felt really good, so that felt good. 
Um, I really like the ski bag event we got yeah. next. And then... Are you going to go for that one? Do you think that a swing? Yeah, I'm going to go hard on that one. Can I carry your bag? No, that's all right. You sure? Yeah. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah. You're like... That was fun. Sitting inside the top 15 pretty comfortably. Yeah, I don't know where I'll be now, but... I think, I, mean. I think he even said I got like maybe maybe 20th or something. Yeah. yeah. I but it was like a slid. <laughs> Couldn't move it. Um, did you expect to be sitting where you are after like a day and a bit? Uh, I didn't. I didn't know where I'd be sitting to be honest. I was just like I could do really well. Or I could just do really shit. But <laughs> sometimes <laughs> maybe good. Sometimes yeah. maybe. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, I'm having a good time, yeah. Is it like more enjoyable or more stressful or whatever you thought it was going to be? Uh, um, I'm just having fun. I'm just doing doing my thing out there and then just trying to just stay on the positive side because last time in teenagers I was just like, oh, you suck, what are you doing here? So I just, I didn't enjoy it at all. Yeah. So if anything goes bad, it's just going to be like, whatever, there's still more events and just... Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to get, stay in that uh, top 20 so I can finish the weekend. That's the main goal. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think you're great. I don't think you suck. I did. How did that go? It was really fun. We needed to win your heat. We needed some points. We were, I think, on the cut line or just below and we won our heat. So yeah. hopefully that puts us above the cut line and we can survive another day. You need to work on your head swing. During the uh, this, bike? This is better than yours. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, I like to grin. Really big, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I'm having a really good time yeah, on the yeah. bike. Yeah, and breathe through my teeth. You got it. The more air that I can create between my teeth. Someone needs to create instead of a toe spacer, a teeth spacer. So air wave and toe spacer collab. Yes. Yeah. That's what I need. I need air coming through my teeth. And you had a lovely sit down afterwards as well. What's that? You had a lovely sit down yes. afterwards. Yes. Yeah. I sat down on my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Did you know I've always wanted to do the Lambo leap because we're in Madison and there's that little ledge and seeing my girlfriend there I said this is my moment to Lambo leap into the into the stands I'm surprised no one's ever done it although to be honest it didn't feel quite safe it was more of a Lambo lay yeah I'll say I was just complimenting your head you know what the Lambo leap is in the, in the states yeah so uh, Green Bay Packers football team they have a they have a wall in the end past the end zone okay and players leap up the wall and all the fans pick up and grab them after they score a touchdown. Okay. It's called the Lambo Leap. Okay. So this is the Madison Leap. The Madison Mount? The Madison Mount. No, that sounds saying, a little you, sexual. You mounted your girlfriend in Madison. Did you see her? That would also be a sight to see. <laughs> I, I, the thing about being over here versus being at home is I know nothing yeah. about the broadcast. I, I feel you probably don't either, right? No, I, I'm missing more being here than I would see at home as well. I can't, games, I can't right? go to that, I have to go to the other. Uh -huh. No, I was here watching in 2019, I saw loads of shit then. Okay. But now I'm like, what, finished the team event, ran back to try and catch teams walking out, then missed, Sorry. was going to miss the start of the 5k, so I was like, screw it, I'll just go back and edit now instead of, you know. I think I'm going to do a two day vlog this time. Peace two days yesterday together. Yesterday and today, because yeah. at some point what I'm talking about is going to become irrelevant and people will be cut that I'm talking to and they won't matter anymore. Well in this it wouldn't matter as humans in, but in not in this yes, scenario. Yes, yes. Um so that's the Doesn't anything ever really matter? Nothing really <laughs> Um what do you think of those who got caught? Popper's nuts. Isn't it? Popper's nuts. Anyone else nuts? No. Everyone else kinda makes sense. <laughs> yeah. But Hopper's nuts. What about um people had him winning. Yeah. Or like vying for a lot of HWPO athletes were vying for podiums that aren't. A lot. Is this the first year, do you think, where lots of people were predicted to be like fighting for top five, top ten, and haven't? Not even just them, but like a lot it's of people had Emma Carey winning or coming in the top three. And who knows? First couple of days. Yeah. It'll probably end up shaking out. It's not going to shake out that dramatically, surely. Six events, yeah. Plus. Okay. You don't really know how many scores there are going to be. But do you not think that the people that are down there are down there because they're hurt or sick or tired or over? Well, clearly, or Ellie's hurt. Well, she's gone. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> clearly, yeah, clearly she's hurt. She's so yeah. hurt, she's gone. Uh, and, like, Hopper, I don't think, was hurt. No. Madero's looks slow. Do you think it's the heat? Potentially. It's hot as hell just standing out there taking pictures. Yeah. 
could you imagine like pushing or flipping that giant pig? I ran rubber? to the, I ran to the bathroom yesterday. I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> 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 Running and smashing, Tola. Yeah. They your two favorite things there. My two least favorite things together. <laughs> but it was a nice short run. How many uh, snatches did you do? Uh, 19. Fuck. Yeah. A lot. That's good enough to beat some heats on your own. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot. A lot. Um, rest of the day, how are you feeling? Yeah, great Great about the next workout. Great about the next two workouts. You know, it's yeah. a great day for us. We got some work to do. Um, yeah. We got to execute better yeah. across the board. Like, that's been the theme this weekend. We're not worried about our fitness. Our execution has just not been as good as it needs to be. Awesome. Thank you. Are you looking forward to that one yourself? Uh, no, I think I impressed myself, to be honest with really? you. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, I like, I like sprint stuff, but you just don't know. You know, when you're going out, everyone here, respectively, are, are strong, you know, especially in that top heat. So with the snatches combined, I just didn't know how it was going to turn out, but. Especially when you're reliant on someone else. Well, yeah, that, well, yeah that's, that's, that's another one too, but we made, a, we made a last minute switch. Our girl that went second was going to be the girl that went fast, because. We initially thought just like strength numbers are higher, so let her get the max reps. But then when it came down to it, uh, our girl that did end up going first, Brittany Weiss, she would have done singles anyway yeah. on the set of 10. So then we were like, well, let's get Dev on the set of 10 so we can hit unbroken um, reps. Are you liking the red and white? <sighs> I'm loving the red and white, man. Are you going to keep uh, it on for the rest of the weekend? That's the goal, you know, like at the end of the day, for me, I try and I, I don't take anything for granted, you know, I, I know. We've still got a lot of work to do yet. There's still many more events yet, but as long as we stay consistent and keep fighting the way we have been, I think we can be in a good spot. Cool, I like it. Appreciate it. Your feet not getting hot? No. It's no. cold today. We're from Norway. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. No. Your feet should be melting. <laughs> if, you ask, if you ask Lena, we're used to 100 Fahrenheit. Okay. Because we, she doesn't know the math. Walk barefoot. <laughs> yeah. It's grounding, well, is it? We were born in it, molded by it. How are you what feeling uh, rest of the day now? It should be good. Uh, the next two workouts are teamwork and we are comfortable with teamwork. Okay. So we're looking forward to Bob and Bob Warm and uh, some ring muscle ups. going to be a good time. Is it frustrating that that stuff only comes up now like that? It, you know, that you don't see the worm before today? No, no, no. It's okay. Yeah? Yeah. Like we're pretty confident that we're going to go through all of the tests for the entire weekend. So like whenever it comes up, we're just going to do our best. So yeah, it doesn't sure. really matter. Is there a Prada deal in the works? Huh? Is there a Prada deal yeah, in the world? Yeah, Prada, yeah. So if you want to collab, just DM my manager. <laughs> yeah, cool. I was a real, a, real that was a barista, but I also used to be a, a real bartender. Like a, like a Tom Cruise like a cocktail from Dream? So you used to be a bartender and a barista, and then you opened an affiliate. Yep. Is it the same? That jump? Yeah. How, what made the jump? What, is that what it was? Like, I, I'm a bartender now, yeah. and I opened a gym. Yeah, no, it was 100%. How I did like, you open a gym? Why did I open a gym? Yeah. Oh, I was super into CrossFit. I was already doing CrossFit since like probably 2010, end of 2010, early 2011. I was doing CrossFit before Glassman was. <laughs> I was doing CrossFit, yeah. I was doing CrossFit before Glassman put it online. Glassman was a, a glint in his father's eye. When I, <laughs> I was already running and squatting at the same time well before he put it on paper. Yeah. But yeah, so I did that and then I, I was like a host, a host server, uh, expediter. Server, server What's trainer. Expediter? This guy that's in the kitchen, like plating the stuff and getting okay. it ready and running it out. And then I was a bartender. Fresh turned, I turned 21 like two weeks later, I became a bartender. Cool. It was crazy. And you then a bartender the trainer. What's that? You got lots of tips. No, you I got a lot of people that gave me shit and they were like, I would, I'd, I would like card them. I'd be like, hey, do you have ID? And they'd be like, do you have fucking ID? You know, and I was like, I looked way young. Yeah. And then when I got really like, when I started getting better at CrossFit, at nights I would handstand walk across the bar floor in front of the table. Genuinely. Generally. And I used to joke and I'd go to bring trays out and I'd be like, get it in people. You could always get it in. And like lunge across and just do dumb shit like that. Um, yeah. This is going well. Yeah, it's going fantastic. Better than I would have thought. Did you think you'd get more like blockage than you've had around the place? N uh, actually, they've been really cool. It hasn't been well, that much of Before you came, were you expecting like yes, all of Yes, a hundred percent. I thought that they were only gonna bring us here to cut our bands off and be like, ah, you spent the money, losers. <laughs> and that was it. What's next then after the games? Well, we're gonna roll out the behind the scenes. That'll probably come out like November, December time. Okay. And then we'll see, we'll see. I, I heard uh, that there might be a possibility of us doing some of these behind the scenes at a semifinal maybe. So Maybe Miami, we might have going. California, Germany. possibly. That's what's up. That's what's up. How everything's going? In the background. Yeah, absolutely. It's been really smooth so far. 
uh, happy with obviously you do you program the workouts test the workouts and then seeing the amount of action is it how you expected to run you know it's a little surprised that the women's ski bag um, was a little slower than I thought. The men did about how I thought they would. I was a little surprised at the women. Uh, it's funny we had some athletes, I wouldn't say chirping, but they were they were like, why not 150 for the women? And I said, well, let's just wait until we do it first. So yeah, it was the right choice to go for the women. Um, I mean, that was a little surprising. Any insights on 2024? I can't, I mean, I can't bring Christmas early, you know, it's not how it goes. Are we, can we expect a uh, thank you for 2023, see you in? No, unfortunately not, we're not quite ready yet. Okay. So it's uh, one of those things where we don't want to set the table and then have to reset it later. So we're not quite there yet. And are you continuing awesome. the partnership as it is this year with Dave and you and your for roles for the foreseeable? Is that the plan? As far as I know. Okay. Of course. That's how are you getting on? Good. You are fucking killing it. <laughs> it's uh, an unexpected day three, if I'm honest. Uh, my body is sore. Yeah. I feel pretty broken, but fucking stoked to be here. Is this, uh, do you think part of your performance is down to like a lack of pressure or expectation from yourself or anything yeah, else? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this for sure. Like I'm having a good time. Um, you know, I got Max here to shoot the shit with me and it's been, it's been great. Uh, it hasn't been, like you said, there's been not, not much pressure at all. Yeah. Um, no one really knows who I am. So that makes it a bit easier for sure. Um, but like I said, like, you know, it's sun shining. It's, it's the CrossFit Games. Like, what's not to love yeah. about why, what you're doing right now? Yeah, it's definitely not the No, it's cool, man. I'm delighted for you. How are you enjoying it? It's good, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't want to complain, but my legs are a bit tired. And <laughs> oh, yeah. Your legs are tired? Yeah, me too. What's that I like? Feel, I feel you. I absolutely feel you, mate. Trust me. So is this, uh, has this given you a taste of, like, I really want this again and I want to know further out and that kind of stuff? Or? Yes and no. Okay. Like, it just reminds me how hard it is at this level. Um, I'll reassess when I go back home. Like, I'm 34. I'm almost the oldest guy in the field here. Um, so I'll see. I'll see. I don't know. I, I I fucking love CrossFit. I love doing this. I love all of this. Uh, but I'm I'm unsure of how many more years I'm willing to like continually give to try and be at this level. Yeah. Uh, but I, this is an amazing opportunity. I'm loving every second of it so far. Good. Good luck, man. Cheers, man. Enjoy the rest of it. See you, Max. See you, brother. Working down this hour, you fucking question, man. Thanks, man. Uh, the more time passes, the more I'm enjoying it because I'm climbing. It's always fun to go up. Yeah, it's never fun to go down. So, like, how high up do you think you can climb? I don't that. know. I'm I'm tenth, I think. <laughs> Thank you. I think I'm tenth now. I'm not sure. I mean, like tomorrow's post open sandbag thing. Uh, tomorrow the sandbag, the ring muscle up looks good, and uh, I think I if if things go perfectly, I can go like fifth. Nice. Yeah, we'll see. Um. When you see something like say BK holding back on the lift, are you like, all right, I, I, I smell blood in the water? I didn't see a thing. Like I was just focusing on my lifting. But I didn't see other. Now after the event, are you like, okay, well that's another spot I can move up into if he's not firing? Yeah, uh, you, you, you never know with BK. BK has like, I remember BK 2018, starting from like 20th it's at regionals and then like beating everybody in every event and climbing to third. So, like, you, ne you, you can never, like, underestimate guys like that. Like, BK's a 10 times at the CrossFit Games. Like, yeah. <laughs> there's no, uh, like, looking down on anybody or, like, under underestimating them. So, yeah, yeah. just, like, they're all he here for blood. They all want to climb as much as possible. I want to, so we'll see who gets it. You like Facundo? I, I love him. Thank you. Thank you. I love Facundo. I wouldn't stay two years with him if things are not are working you well. Three? Yeah, three. Yeah. And I, you, I love flexibility in the coach. Like he's ready to talk about, hey, I don't want to do this. I want to do that. What do you think about it? He's gonna give me an advice. And uh, yeah, he he was super helpful this season and uh, mayhem as a empire. Like you have everything that you need. Like I'm going back to the hotel now and we have our physio, like media is super cool. Like they're giving you like a spotlight. Like, yeah. I, I don't have anything bad to say. Like Rich has also, like you have like close contact with Rich and he will give you advices. Like 
before biking he gave me like 30 40 minutes theory before but then i <laughs> crashed so it didn't work out but like it's it's super helpful yeah <laughs> like i think you you can't get that in a lot of a lot of other places yeah is it like will it be a youtube video or yeah yeah for myself one one continuous long no, youtube I've video for the whole games varying lengths um, that's what she said. Yeah. I've, been doing, uh, <laughs> I've been doing different, uh, so like, I was at Hiller's house the first day, that was like five minutes long, and then, uh, you know, recaps. Have you already posted them? Yeah, they're up on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah. Up on the tube. I feel bad saying that, but I, I've been too I mean, busy to watch. There's certain people I expect to watch them, and certain people I don't. <laughs> okay, good. You're not my target mark. Uh, all right, cool. <laughs> nice. Um, Alexis. Yes. She's f***ing crushing it. She's a beast. We knew she was very fit. Were you Obvious. expecting this kind of a level? Um, well, she took seven, she took 10th last year and three people above her were out of the field. It was her rookie year and she is substantially better than she was last year. More confident, more healthy, more focused, more comfortable with the expectations. So I think all of us knew that she was capable of this and knew that she could contend to win. Yeah. But we've also learned, or at least maybe me as a human, have learned that putting that type of pressure on people is just almost like unfair and unreasonable especially in a super tough sport so we knew it was possible but it's still kind of just a pleasant surprise when you see it happen because it's very hard to execute at this level under this pressure and best athletes in the world there so do you think it's helped her having like travis there but not worried about himself um Maybe. I mean, Travis has been a good training partner. Actually, Caden in the team division was a good training partner. The team was training. And Adam did a really good job this year of drawing boundaries around her training priorities and then let the team, like Kyle helped with swimming. I helped with some of the really hard workouts. But they've stayed very true to their training plan and their training process. So I think they just got better at what she needs because every athlete is different. So I think just becoming a veteran is starting to figure out like her figuring out what she needs and she's starting to find that, you know, magic formula for herself. Is it hard when uh, an athlete has a leader jersey and then lose the leader jersey to kind of pick them back up again? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I wasn't involved in those super intimate discussions because Adam's her direct point of contact coach, but from the outside, it definitely looked like there was like a, a lull in energy but she went out and freaking dominated the next workout so i think that gave her the confidence that like she has the resilient mindset that's required to have a setback and then step back into the fire and excel and like maybe have an outlet for that so i don't know if that's something that coaches do or just athletes that are really good just have that type of resilient demeanor